uh, hi this is uh, 9 pm slash uh, vu3wg um, and that will be really showing how to use the nisa rf903 swr watt meter uh, this is analog watt meter you don't have to power it up to get working uh, other, uh, when we compare to the other watt meters from nisa which is digital measurements so basically this has a selector button so what you can see you don't see on the dial can be multiplied and you can measure higher power is the selector button and you have the average peak button if you're looking for measuring in hf and you have the hf vhf selector so if you uh, pressing it that means you're measuring peak power you're releasing it that means average power so here if you're pressing it that means you're in vhf vhf range you're releasing it that means near an hf selection range that is denoted by this uh, image over here and uh, on the back side you have the DC 13.8 volt connector for the LED light on the panel over here and you have the VHF connector is like and transmit and you know, connect for VHF and similarly for the HF also here I'm using a 50 ohm dummy load so I'll remove the dummy load first So this is actually an uh, opaque 60 volt dummy load. I'll be connected to the VHF UHS side to the antenna. So this will serve as a safe load. It's tightly kept. And now I use my SOFT for XR. So I'll be using the HF and the VHF portion of the FTV for XR to test the watt meter. Okay. adapter to connect from the SMA connector to the P2 Fenny connector over here. Now we will select the VHF, pressing it. So VHF is selected. Now we will open the transceiver. So we will start with UHF now. So it is in high power mode. So it's nearing, so the, and the, as you can see, the selector is in multi, 10, multiple of 10, so whatever seen on the dial should be multiplied. So it's giving around 4 watts. Now I'll change the power. Power is in mid now. Let's see. It's around 1 watt. Now change the power again. So the power is very less. So I change the multiplier button. So you can see that power is around 2 watts now. Sorry, I mean 0.2 watts. So we will be multiplying by 1. So this is around 0.3. So 0.3 watts. It's very less power now. Let's check the same thing in the VHF. I click the sample frequency. So now I go to the VHF. It will be select a channel for the T3. Zero. Okay, now it's in full power, and all this while doing all these experiments, we always try to ensure that you have a dummy load here, just like what I have shown here. There should be a dummy load over here. So it is my dummy load. So you should always have a dummy load like this, otherwise you can get your transceiver damage or like um, transmitting in unwanted frequencies. Um, and interfering with this, so always try to be careful. 
so let's say look at the further the point five so right now I'm a multiplier of 10 for the end so I'm getting around 3 watts and now I'll go to middle portion of the power so what's my so I'm around below 2 watts so I'll change the multiplier also let's go in high so I need to have multiplier So I'm around like between 1 and 2 watts. And if I go below one more time to the very low power on UHF, let's see. So you need to view this uh, value, I have to change the multiplier to 1. So I'm on around point. 6 watts I think so that's how you have to use uh, this ARX903 analog SWM meter the same rules apply for HF and this the usage of average or peak button depends upon whether you are using the uh, different uh, type of modulation like SSV or A so I haven't done that so I'll leave that for now this is how you can use for measuring for a simple HF transceiver uh, BHF transceiver and thank you and see you again